Listen, all I want to say is invest in you. Invest in yourself. Invest in your health. Invest in your wealth. Invest in your mental state of mind. Invest in your children. It's nothing more important than those things. But first of all, as a woman, invest in yourself first. Take care of yourself first. Take care of your, your, your bodies first. Take care of your mind first. Because see, nothing else works in the home if mama not all right. Nothing else will be good in the home if mommy is not all right. If mommy is not well rested, what rested, the house is not well rested. If mommy is happy, the house is happy. So as a woman, in order to take care of our children, our husbands, our families, and anyone else that matters, we, we as women must take care of ourselves first. We must eat first. We must get our bath time in first. We must get our nail appointments and our toenail appointments in first. We must do everything for us first so that we will be okay to be okay to heal our families and to take care of our families so that we will be able to cook great meals and be able to think what doctor's appointments are next? What um, PTO meetings do I have to go to? What do I have to do for tomorrow? Because as a woman, I don't know about any other woman, but I have a lot on my plate. I am the one that keeps this house going. I am the one that keeps this house rolling. I am the one that keeps the businesses going. I'm the one that keeps my husband on point. So now a lot of people may say, well, what about you? Who's going to keep you on point? I keep myself on point because I take care of me first. I take care of myself before I take care of my husband and even my son. And my son is almost 18 years old, very high functioning, autistic son, young man, as you all know. But I would have never been able to do the things for him and make him as much of a great son as he is. And the genius that he is, if I had not taken care of self first, my husband wouldn't be the great man that he is if I had not taken care of myself first. Okay, so see, when a lot of women say, well, what about you? You know, you need love. You need, I get what I'm supposed to get. And that's because I know how to get it from my husband and from my son because I keep my mind straight and take care of me first so that I can show them how to take care of me, if that make any sense. Because as a woman, you have to show a man how you want to be taken care of. But if you ain't in your right state of mind, you're never going to get what you deserve. And another thing, you're never going to get out of your children what you want out of them if mama head ain't right. So a lot of times when we think our children are acting out, oh, he's just so bad. He's this, he's that. Most of the time, mommies, it's because you ain't together and you ain't right. You ain't got yourself together. And I ain't talking about taking all these girls trips and spending the night out with your girlfriends and doing you, as you all say. Because see, doing you is not doing you the correct way so that you can take care of your families the, rec the, the correct way. Because... Women, we are in charge of our kitchens. We are in charge of our homes. And once again, if you're not right mentally and physically, and I mean real mentally, if you don't practice this, what's on my shirt on a daily basis, and you don't practice this, what's in this cup, all that stuff that people be talking you know, uh, you know, hey, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm straight. Ain't no man going to use me. I don't need no man. I don't need this. Every woman needs a good man. Every woman on earth needs a good man. You need a mate. Okay. 
you need someone to love you, but you're never going to find that if you don't take care of self first because you don't know how. And this is why sometimes we keep picking the same type of old raggedy baggage man, leechers, and men too. Maybe sometimes this is why you keep picking the same old raggedy women is because you're not taking care of your mental state of mind first. And the only way you can take care of your mental state of mind is manifestations, affirmations, and the food that you eat plays a big part in how you think, how you act. The things that we listen to, the music plays a big part in that. I see a lot of mothers in the cars with a lot of rap music on with a lot of cursing in it, you know. And you got your babies in the back. So see, you ain't there yet. You, 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 you're definitely not on the level that you should be on as a woman, as a womb man, womb, womb man, as a womb man. You're not a womb man yet. You're still a woman. So in order to get to the level that I'm saying, those things have to cease. You know, you got to take care of yourselves first. You got to know how to take care of yourselves first, but you're not going to know how to take care of yourself first if you're putting a lot of unclean food in your body. Because, see, you can't think correctly. You don't even know what to do. You know, you don't know what to do. You don't know which way to go in life. You don't know how to act, what to do. You don't know what foods to cook. As a woman, our wounds, your womb, give you creativity. So there's no such thing as a woman don't know how to cook. You may not know how to cook because you're putting food in your bodies that is not um, making your wounds creative. You follow what I'm saying? If you feed the womb, you will be creative. If you feed the womb, you will know how to create things to um, take care of your bodies. If you feed the womb correctly, you will know how to manifest. If you feed the womb correctly, you will also know how to meditate. I hear a lot of women saying, I don't know how to meditate. I don't know how to meditate. Meditation is so easy. It's very easy, but you have to feed your body the foods that it's supposed to have on a daily basis. Okay? Treat your body as a plant. Give it a lot of nutritional value, a lot of things that's green and tons of water. And you will be able to think more clearly and you will be able to save yourselves and save your families. Because if you can't save yourself, you can't save your children. If you can't save yourself, you can't save your marriage. If you can't save yourself, you can't save help your, your daughters and your sons with their children because you have nothing to give. So learn to give everything that you got in you to yourself first. Self is first. Practice meditation. See that? Practice awareness. Practice meditation. Practice taking care of yourself. Practice getting up in the morning two hours early before anybody gets up. And just sit with thyself and think and meditate. Send out affirmations. Pray over your body, smudge your body, pray over your homes before anyone gets up. As a woman, you need that time. And as a single father, if you're raising your children, you need that time. You need that time as well, guys. Okay? So I just wanted to come in on this quick video because I was sitting here taking care of myself as I do every day. Mama come first. And my husband already knows this. Because I'm together and I know what I want, I know what I deserve, and I know what I'm going to get. And he knows that. He knows that. Okay? There's no other way. I get what I want first in order for me to take care of him the way he wants me to take care of him. The way that he's supposed to be taken, taken care of because he's an awesome um, husband and he's an awesome father. Okay? So that's what I want to tell you guys, and I will come back in another video. Now I got to do some work, okay? So I will see you guys later. Peace and blessings. But take care of yourself first.